signs of stress eating and how to stop it. One of the most common dysfunctional ways that people deal with stress is eating. When we are stressed, our bodies release a stress hormone called cortisol, as well as the hunger hormone, ghrelin. Ghrelin stimulates the release of dopamine in the brain, which tells the body that it wants to eat. Cortisol is what triggers our cravings for fatty, sweet, and salty junk food. Stress eating can lead to obesity, guilt, shame, and does nothing to alleviate the main problem that is stress. There are many differences between eating behind stress and eating because your body physically needs it. However, when you are stressed, it can be difficult to tell the difference. Stress hunger comes on suddenly, with overwhelming cravings, while physical hunger comes on gradually and doesn't demand instant satisfaction. When you are physically hungry, an apple, chicken breast, or salad all sound good, but stress hunger requires pizza, fries, and cheesecake. Stress eating is typically mindless, without thought to how much you eat and when you are full, whether it's a half gallon of ice cream, 12 cookies, half a pizza, or constant snacking. Physical hunger is satiated when your stomach is full. Stress eating is motivated by the mind, and so you can keep eating well after your stomach is full. Stress eating often involves guilt or regret, something that does not happen when you eat to relieve physical hunger. Acknowledging that you eat behind stress is the first step to overcoming the habit. Second is to look into mindfulness training. A study published in the Journal of Obesity found that women who took mindfulness training were less likely to stress eat. This includes learning stress reduction techniques and how to effectively recognize hunger and pay attention to the taste of the food they were eating. In general, you must learn healthy coping skills for stress, be it meditation, yoga, exercise, rest and relaxation, deep breathing, creating work-life balance, or simply adding more fun and laughter into your day. Managing chronic stress is good for your mind, spirit, and body. Stay well and take care. Unhealthy coping skills for chronic stress. Learning to cope with stress in healthy ways is vital to your health, but there is also a variety of unhealthy methods that many people fall prey to without even realizing that it is happening. Drinking, smoking, and substance abuse may seem like they are a stress relief, but they never offer a long-term solution, but instead add more problems, as experts report that those who are under chronic stress are at a greater risk of addiction. Denial is not a stress management tool. In fact, it will cause more harm than good because ignoring your stress only makes it worse. Managing stress is the only way to properly get it under control. Do you reach for food every time you experience stress? This can fuel obesity, increase the risk of heart disease and stroke, cause a variety of digestive issues, and does nothing to truly alleviate stress. Food often serves as a crutch, and while it may provide you with relief initially, it can spiral out of control quickly. Are you the type of person that panics about losing your job after making a small mistake? Blowing things out of proportion and thinking of worst-case scenarios will only intensify stress levels. Remedy this by adjusting your self-talk to a tone you would use with a close friend going through struggles. Chronic stress creates a hole inside, which many try to fill with retail therapy, which is buying things to get emotional relief. This never truly alleviates stress, but causes an increase in financial difficulties, which is another stressor that will only fuel your stress. Other unhealthy coping mechanisms include nail biting, surviving on coffee, angry outbursts or yelling at others, social isolation, and not eating. Don't let this happen to you. Use healthy techniques to manage stress and you will be glad you did.